Hello, welcome to Asana awesome Strength. I am Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to do a 30 minute full body cardio flow. So if you are ready, I want you to come onto your mat and come into child's pose. Now in your child's pose, you can have your knees together or if it feels better, go ahead and take your knees out. Hands stretching forward. And as you elongate through your arms, take a long breath in through your nose, lengthen your arms. And as you exhale, let your elbows and your forehead relax down onto the mat. Let's do that again. Breathing in, finding length through your arms, find that stretch. And as you exhale, relax that down. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in, length, spread your fingers apart. And as you exhale, forehead, elbows, all resting on your mat. And let's stay here for a couple breaths before we begin our movement. Breathing in and out through the nose and beginning to quiet your mind, quieting the thoughts from the day. Good. Now let's walk our hands to the right side off of the mat, adding a side body stretch here. to the belly chaturanga and inhale to a cobra 
And as you exhale, press your body up, come to downward facing dog. Letting your legs find a little more length and always thinking about driving through your hands, tailbone lifting up. Let's bend the knees, step up to the front. Inhale, flat back, shoulders back. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, reaching up. Open up your chest, mini back bend. Inhale, the hands up, and exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, come to that flat back. Now as you exhale, bring your hands down, step back and lower, chaturanga. Now if you wanna take that a little higher, inhale to an up dog. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in here, stretching back. And then as you exhale, you can jump or step it up. Inhale to flat back. Exhale the hands down. Reverse swan dive up, reaching up. Opening up your chest here. Inhale, hands up. Exhale down. We're going to do one more sun salutation like this. Inhale to flat back. Bring your hands down. You can step or jump it back and lower down. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Breathing in as you stretch back. And as you exhale, jump or step your feet up. Inhale to flat back. Exhale down. Reverse swan dive up. Open up your chest here. And then inhale the hands up. Let's bring the hands to the heart center. So we are going to really build a lot more heat today. And to start doing that, I'm gonna walk you through some sun salutation B. So we're gonna move one breath, one movement. If you wanna watch the first one, go ahead and then join in for those next two. We're gonna inhale the hands up. As you exhale, dive that down, jump it back and lower your body. Inhale to up dog. As you exhale, downward facing dog, bend your knees, jump it up. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale, dive that down, jump it back, lower down. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog, bend your knees, jump it up. Inhale, reverse swan dive one more time. Exhale, down jump or step that back and lower down. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, jump or step up, reverse one of breath in, exhale, open up, inhale the hands up, and find the heart. Whew. I hope that got your heart rate up, you guys. Nice work. All right, from here, I want you to begin to sit your hips back and settle into your first chair pose. So the weight is in the heels, shoulders are down and back. We're feeling our core engaging. And as we go through our movements today, we're gonna to keep coming back to our chair pose. If you'd like to reach your hands, reach them, holding here for three, two, one. Release that down, dive that forward. Let's inhale to flat back. Bring your hands down, jump or step that back and lower your body, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. Let's inhale our right foot up into the air. Exhale the knee to the chest. Inhale up and exhale to runner's pose. And from here, let's inhale up to crescent pose. And then as you exhale, bring it all the way down to the mat. Slide your foot back and lower chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale down dog. And then inhale the left foot up. Exhale the knee to the chest. Inhale up and exhale to runner's pose. We breathe in as we reach up to crescent pose. And then as you exhale, hands together, lower down the body, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale down dog. Good, bend your knees, jump or step it up. Then as you inhale, reach the hands, chair. Dive that down and release, exhale. We're gonna inhale to a flat back. Bring your hands down, jump or step it back. Lower tongue. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. And let's inhale the right foot up, knee to the chest, breath out. 
Inhale up and exhale to runner's pose. Inhale up to crescent. Then as you exhale, we're gonna sweep the arms back. Inhale, lift them back up to crescent. And then exhale all the way down to your mat. Slide your foot back and lower. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Inhale the left foot up. Exhale the knee to the chest. Inhale up. And exhale to runner's pose. Inhale up to crescent, reaching high. As you exhale, sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift them back up. And then exhale all the way down, sliding your foot back, lower the body. Inhale, big up dog. Exhale to down dog. Bend your knees, jump it up, and inhale, chair. Exhale, sweeping back, so the arms go back, chest is lifted. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, dive that down. Let's inhale to flat back. Exhale the hands down, jump or step that back and lower chaturanga. Inhale to up dog and exhale to down dog. Let's keep that flow going. Inhale the right foot up. Exhale the knee to chest. Inhale up and exhale runner's pose. So breath in as we rise up. Breath out as we sweep the arms back. Knee stays right over your ankle. Inhale up. Do that sweep again, exhale back. Inhale up, and exhale the hands all the way down. Slide your foot back lower. Inhale to up dog, opening up your chest, and exhale to down dog. Inhale the left foot up, knee to the chest. Bring your foot back up, and then come to runner's pose. Move with that breath, breathe in as you lift up. Breathe out as you sweep. Good. Inhale the hands back up. Do that again. Sweep your arms back. Inhale up. And exhale hands together. Down to your mat. Slide your foot back and lower. Inhale to up dog. Exhale down dog. Bend your knees. Jump it up. Inhale chair. Exhale sweep. We're doing that two times. Inhale up. Sweep them back, staying low in those heels. Inhale up, and then dive that as you breathe out. Inhale, flat back. Bring your hands down, jump or step it back. Lower tongue. Inhale to up dog. Exhale back to down dog. Right foot up on the inhale, and exhale the knee to your chest. Inhale up, exhale to runner's pose. Breathing in, lifting up, we know our flow. Exhale and sweep that back. Inhale up and exhale. So move with those breaths. Let them be long, not rushing through them. Sweep that back. Inhale, hands up and then hands together all the way down on the mat. Slide foot back and lower. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, down dog. Left foot goes up as you breathe in. And knee to the chest, point your toe. Inhale up. And exhale, runner's pose. Rise up, inhale, crescent. Sweep your arms back as you breathe out. Inhale up. Good, so making sure that we're not letting those shoulders roll forward but we keep that tension between the shoulder blades. One more sweep back. Inhale up, and then exhale all the way down. Slide your foot back lower. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Bend your knees, jump or step up. And inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep that back. Inhale up, and exhale, sweep. Maybe you sit a little bit lower as you sweep those arms back. Inhale the hands up and exhale release. Good. Inhale flat back. Bring those hands down. Step or jump back. Lower tongue. Inhale to up dog. Good. Come to down dog. Take your right foot up in the air on the inhale. 
knee to the chest, breath out. Inhale up and exhale to runner's pose. Rise up to crescent pose. We are gonna sweep four times here. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift them up. Doing that again, breath out and rise. So as our arms move, think about long arms reaching back, squeeze through your triceps. Inhale up, let's do that one more time. Inhale up, and as you exhale, hands together, lower down, and then inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Let's take our left foot up in the air, knee to the chest, back on up, and then come to runner's pose. Inhale up to crescent. I hope you are feeling that heat building. Sweep your arms back. Inhale, lift up. Doing that again three more times here. Move with that breath. Keeping that calm in your face. Keeping your breath nice and steady and even. One more breath out. Inhale back up. And then bring your hands together, lower down, slide your foot back. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog, bend your knees, jump or step it up. And inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep that back. Inhale up. Feel the core working as you stay lifted through your chest. Inhale up. Exhale, sweep. Good, one more time. Breathing in. Breathing out, hands come up, and then forward fold. Let's inhale to flat back. Hands come down, step or jump your feet back and lower. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. One more time through you guys. Inhale the right foot up, knee to the chest. Inhale up, exhale to runner's pose. Inhale up to crescent, we've got this five times. Sweep your arms back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Good. Long, straight back leg. Keeping that front knee right over top of your ankle. Inhale up. Let's do that two more times. Let those arms move with your breath. And one more. Inhale the hands up. Exhale all the way down, slide your foot back, lower down. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your left foot up in the air, knee comes to the chest. Inhale up and exhale, runner's pose. Inhale up to crescent. Good, sweep that back, exhale. Inhale up, sweep that back. Inhale, reach that up. Let's do that three more times. Big sweep back. Inhale, rise up. Two more. Breath in, lift. You guys, we got this one more time here. Reaching up. Bring your hands together all the way down on your mat. Lower down. Inhale to up dog. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, jump or step it up. Inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep that back. Inhale, chair. Sweep that back. Three more times, breathing in and out. Good, remember, use those breaths to find your movement. One more time. Inhale, sweep that back. Let your hands lift. Hold here for five. Four, three, two, one. Dive that down. Let's inhale to a flat back. Bring your hands down. Step or jump your legs back. Hold that plank. Nice work, you guys. I hope you feel so strong right now. All right, hold that plank. Option is to be on your knees here. Or if you can stay on those toes, I want you to find those toes. Good. Pushing through the mat with your hands. Stay in this here. Now let's lift our right foot. If you're on the knee, you're doing the same thing right there. 
Let's take knee to elbow. We go out and then back. Out and then back. Two. Let's do one more. Hold. Bring that foot down. Lift your other one. Are you ready? Knee to elbow. We go out and then back. Out and then back. Two. And one. Good job. Rise your hips. Downward facing dog. Let your knees drop down. Come into child's pose. Good job. Right now you can grab a sip of water or just roll out those wrists a little bit. Roll out your shoulders. All right, when you're ready, meet me in down dog. Curl the toes under, let your hips rise up tall. And feel that stretch back. Maybe you're a little warmer so your heels can go a little lower, but it's okay if you've still got that bend in the knees with the heels lifted up. Let's go ahead and walk our feet up to the front. And slowly roll your body all the way up to standing. Let's roll the shoulders down and back. We're gonna step the long way of the mat. Toes are turned out towards the corners. We're gonna take a breath in as we reach our arms up. And as you exhale, sit your hips down and back. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, sit that back. Keep that going. So as you are sitting back, keep your chest lifted. Almost as if your back is sliding against a wall here. Move with that breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do that three more times. Breathing in, and out. Good work, two. Just use that breath. On this last one, as you lower, stay low here. Good, take a peek at those feet. You can wiggle your toes a little bit, sinking into your heels. Let's reach our arms out. Hold that there. Now we're gonna tip over to the right side. We're not touching the ground, but we're opening up those arms. Support option, take your elbow on that leg and keep the shoulder away from the ear or take that hand away. Hold that there. Eyes looking up. Reach to the sides again. Let's go the other direction. Tip down. Hold that there, know your option is to have that elbow there for support. Again, staying away from that ear with the shoulder or let your hands reach. Eyes looking up. Reach to the sides again. Good, bring your hands together in the front. Bring your hands to your heart. Stay for 10, nine, eight, seven. Abs in six. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly stand up. Amazing work. Heel toe your feet in. Roll the shoulders and join me at the front of the mat. Inhale as you reach your hands up. Let's enjoy that mini back bend here. Breathe in as your hands reach up and find a nice slow swan dive down. We're gonna start slowing things down. Inhale, find a flat back, and let's hold that here. So just breathing in and out. Shoulders are down and back. You can have those hands reaching. You can have those fingertips down. But I like to keep the hands right under the knees, giving me that little bit of support there. Good, feeling that stretch through the back of your legs. And then release your hands down to a forward fold. Step it back to a down dog here. We're gonna inhale our right foot up into the air. And as you exhale, bring your knee forward, foot over to the side, settling into a pigeon pose. So you want your knee pointing to the front, nice and lifted through your chest. And it is okay if maybe your hips lifted off your mat. As we find more flexibility, it'll naturally sink down. 
Now you can stay up and lift it, but if it feels good, I want you to walk your hands down. Maybe you go onto your elbows, or maybe you even collapse your upper body all the way down. I love this pose, this stretch here. It really takes care of those hard working muscles through your hips, through your glutes, your hamstrings. It is one of my ultimate favorite poses. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this one as well. Go ahead and close your eyes and just take two more breaths here, really using that exhale to sink down and relax. Opening those eyes back up, hands are on your mat. We're gonna curl the back toe under, lift your hip up, and then take your other leg back, coming to down dog. And then your left foot goes up into the air. Take your knee forward and foot to the sides, settling into pigeon pose on that side. And really thinking about your hips, pointing to the front. So we're not opening up like that, but really turning and staying straight, pointing to the front of the mat. And if you wanted to walk that down, go ahead and do that. And just know every side, every day, your back is gonna feel a little different. Some days you're gonna feel like you just slide on into whatever stretch or pose, and some days maybe it's a little more labored. Maybe you just feel like you're not getting where you used to have gone, and that's okay. Just take every pose where you're at today and just know that every little movement, every moment you are here, you are bettering your body and taking care of it. Close your eyes. Two more breaths here. Releasing into the pose. Good. From there, we're going to lean over to the side, bring your leg around, and we're going to come into a comfortable seated position here. So whether that is crisscross or half lotus with one foot on top of the other or the other direction, maybe try it out and see how they feel today. All right, let's go ahead and take our arm across the body, bring your other arm in, relax your shoulder, and gently bring that in. Now close your eyes, drop your chin down. So we've got that left arm across. I want you to roll the right ear over towards the right shoulder. So we get a little bit of a neck stretch in here along with that shoulder stretch. Roll your chin back down, lifting up and release your hands. Let's take the other one across. Lock that in over, shoulders down and back. Let your chin drop down to your chest. And then we're gonna roll over to the other side. Nice work, you guys. Bring it back down, chin to the chest. Looking up, release your hands. Bring your hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Open up your chest here. If your hands don't quite touch, then I want you to just bring your hands near the lower back, elbows are bent, and just work on lifting through your chest. So wherever you're at, just again, take that stretch where you need it today. Good, and then one more, we're gonna take our hands one on top of the other, rounding up through your upper back here. And then release those Let's take one big breath in, reach your arms out and up. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Namaste, take a bow forward. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this 30 minute practice. I hope you got your body warmer and that you feel stronger. If you have been enjoying this, I would love it if you hit like and left me a comment. Let me know your favorite part of the practice. Make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every week. See you next time.